What's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm back with another banger video. You know what I'm saying? This your boy Ricky, the savage, the gentleman, and the spiritual teacher. You know what I'm saying? Today we're gonna talk about a uh, topic called um the art of war, the basics. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Robert Green and um uh the dude who wrote the art of war. I forgot his name. I can't think of it offhand. But before we even get in the video, you know I'm spiritual first. So we're gonna go over the um. We're going to go over the planets before we even get into the video. You know what I'm saying? But before we even get in the video, I'm going to need you to right there on the side, hit that uh, hit that uh, subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and get this video a thumbs up if you're rocking with me. But, okay, let's get into it. First, the sun is in Libra. You dig? And it's October the first, first month of October. So when we're dealing with Libra, we're dealing with the fall. We're dealing with the bounty. So that, the day is a good day to connect partnership deals, but be careful because Mercury is in retrograde. You know what I'm saying? So you really want to take your time and analyze the paperwork and things. And they, some people say you, uh, when it's uh, Mercury retrograde, don't do this, that, and the third. But en energy can be transmuted. So with that being said, just take your time and be careful as you over contracts or documents and things of that nature. But yeah, the sun is in Libra, so this is a good day to do business deals, partnership deals, and create balance. Uh, talk to your loved ones, your family, your friends, or your acquaintance. All right, the moon is in Leo. This is a good time to, you know what I'm saying, get in the sun, you know what I'm saying, get back to your uh, child state, your inner child, be love, lovable, playful, you know what I'm saying, do hobbies, because the sun is filled with the fifth house, like hobbies, uh, Families and friends, maybe sports events, express yourself because the moon represents the emotion. Okay, so they say Mercury is in retrograde, but this is a good time to connect. You know what I'm saying? Relationship because Mercury is Mercury is in Libra. You know what I'm saying? It's in Libra. You did, and that's a fast planet. So this is a good time to still communicate your ideas, partnership deals, and contract. Maybe you want to build some anything that got to do with partnerships and deals and balance deals with Libra and Mercury, you know, that's the communication learning planet. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Siblings too, short distance travel too. Okay. And then Venus is in Scorpio. So Venus is how you love, value, and appreciate. And it's in the sign of Scorpio, which is water, deep thought, debt, transformation, and things. The underworld. The underworld just means unseen world, the unknown, the subconscious almost. So you might this time you might feel uh you might feel vulnerability and things of that nature. But guess what I just said at the beginning? Transmutate that energy. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta feel like that. You can feel another way. Okay. And Mars, Mars is in Libra. Yeah, Mars is in Libra. So Mars deal with your passion, your stamina, your sex drive, your ability to move, your action, to drive. That what drives you. And it's in the planet of the Libra. You know what I'm saying? So this is a good time. You know what I'm saying? It might not be easy to create relationships and things of that nature, being that Mars is that aggressive planet, but you can still do it as long as you create balance because Libra is about balance, okay? And that's the only thing I'm going to do, just them planets right there. So let's really get into the video. And number one, we're going to talk about the art of war. Before I even get into the video, I'm going to break this down so you can get a visualization of what's going on. So in everyday life, we deal with war, whether we deal with physical war or spiritual war social war but i'm gonna arm you up with the day with some great tactics okay so war is what do the definition of war mean war is this it's when a, a country a group of people fight you know what i'm saying and the example that i'm gonna use i'm talking about social war because so, it's psychological war you know what i'm saying so it, it's like if you was in the military it would be like you would gather information gather intelligence on your opponent or things of that nature but every day in the workplace, we deal with war. So I'm going to break this down. I'm going to give you six. And tell me if y'all want me to do a part two. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to make a Patreon and drop more great too. And the book is 33 Strategies of War. Shout out to Robert Green for making that great phenomenal book. But I'm going to give you six tips how, I be, how to become a strategic warrior. And I'm so transparent that I went not using these. I, like, I read the book, and I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I went not using these. Now that I use them, it made my life better. It made my, per I look at life better because I started to read, starting to work. I'm starting to get on my, I'm starting to get on my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Starting to get on my pivot, starting to get on my path, starting to get on my purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because distraction, that's a whole nother video, but I'm going I'm to be coming with some bangers. 
October the 1st, I'm dropping a video every day for 30 days. I don't even know what I'm going to call this. Give me give me a topic or a segment that what y'all want me to call this. Uh, 30 days, you know what I'm saying? 30 days, I'm on my grind. Let's get it, though. So how to become a strategic warrior? Six great tips. Number one, you got to look at things as they are. You know what I'm saying? Not as your emotions color them. So a lot of times in life, how a person can beat you mentally you know what I'm saying? Or psychologically, is get you in your feelings. So if they get you in your feelings, then you are already lost. Because I, how to master anything, the first thing that you must master is two basic things. Number one is your emotions. And number two, you must master yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you can master your emotions and master yourself, half of the battle gone. Everything, nothing else matters. If you can master your emotions and in a battle or in a conflict and remain calm, you already won. You beat them. You beat them from the mind. So, so what's some definitions, like what's some examples of, you know what I'm saying, emotions that, that you color? Fear. You let, sometimes you let fear get, fear get in the way of it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might get anger and you flash out. And I'm a victim. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I done did that before. I let my anger get the best of me. And they tricked me out of my position. So they won. You know what I'm saying? Also being impatient. You know what I'm saying? Patience is the key. Patience is a virtue. You know what I'm saying? Be patient. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to lose the battle to win the war. But that's a whole nother video. You did. Also being overconfident. Thinking you know thinking you know too much. And you don't. So you got to humble yourself. So each new individual. How I like to do it is each new, individual, each new person that I meet. I become a student. Because I don't know them. I want to know what they know. I want to learn. So I listen first. Speak second. You got two ears and one mouth. But hey. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that's how you supposed to look at things as they are and not with your emotions. You know what I'm saying? And the recap of that is when you in a conflict, when you in a conflict or a dilemma or a problem in the social world, what you do is remain calm. You know what I'm saying? Count to ten, remain calm. You know what I'm saying? Or walk away. You know what I'm saying? But don't let your emotions run you or trick you. You know what I'm saying? All right, number two. Judge people by their actions. You know what I'm saying? Basic, bro, you know, since the day of time, people have been finessing, been tricking off words. Now, in some situations, you can finesse somebody with words or the way you speak. You know what I'm saying? You can get the upper hand. You know what I'm saying? But nine times out of ten, in most situations, how you become a strategic warrior is you judge somebody. Not You hear what they say, and you take heed. You listen to what they say, but you don't you don't follow what they say. You did. You know what I'm saying? You hear what they say. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be on point. You hear them. You know what I'm saying? But, they, like, be careful, though. Because a lot of people play on words. You know what I'm saying? Like, they good. Like, they good with words. You know, I'm good with words. Mercury and Gemini. You know what I'm saying? But I have to be careful, too. You feel me? They're not trick myself because all is mental. But judge them by what they do, not what they say they're going to do. Like, judge them by their actions. Because they could be like, oh. I'm gonna be on your side, but the whole time you giving them your blueprint and they trick you and you lose. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, say listen to this, but that's a, that's a whole nother video. All right. So number two, judge judge people by their action, not by their words. All right. Number three, depend on your own arms. And depend on your own arms mean it don't matter about you might have all the money in the world, the technology, all the resources, but at the end of the day, all that can be taken from you. So you gotta arm your mind with the art of war. The art of being intelligent, the art of mastering your emotions, the art of mastering you, beating you up, defeating the ego. You know what I'm saying? Ego is the enemy. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, the ego is the enemy. You did humble yourself. Who are you? Humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Depend on your own. Um, that's number three. You know what I'm saying? Because the war is psychological. It ain't fit before it get physical, it's psychological. You gotta come up with the ideas. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come up with these different thoughts to put it on paper to, to manifest it. You know what I'm saying? So depend on your own. Don't depend on money. Money might get you there, but it won't keep you there. You know what I'm saying? Technology might get you there, but it won't keep you there because it can be taken away from you. Okay. Number four. Worship Athens, not Aries. Okay. Basically, what that means is Aries is the god of war. I got that name. Life path number nine. Nah, they were more. But that's how this video. Okay, so Aries is like when it, the war part of you. You know what I'm saying? The war. So when it's time to go to war, you just, no, you got to be strategic. That's why you got to follow um, atheists. Atheists, I think that's the name. Be strategic. You know what I'm saying? Be strategic in the war. Come up with a plan. 
If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Do your homework on the do your homework on the enemy. Send people over there. That's a whole nother video. I'm getting off topic. That's for the Patreon people. You did. But yo, you know what I'm saying? Be strategic. Then go to work. You know what I'm saying? And the goal is to do this, bro. It's to mix the philosophy with the war and mix wisdom. And mix wisdom with the battle. My bad. Philosophy mixed up philosophies with the war and the wisdom with the battle. You know what I'm saying? And then you and then you bend it together, you'll be unbeatable. You'll be untouchable. And then number five is elevate yourself above the battlefield. Now that's a good one right here. I'm a paraphrase because I got a lot of notes. Bro, when, listen, bro. You're gonna get into different problems in different circumstances. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean. Sometimes you gotta lose the battle to win the war. So, when you're in a problem or a situation, look beyond that. You know what I'm saying? Like, look beyond. Just don't look at it that. Go back to the root cause of the problem. Look beyond that. Don't think short term. Think long term. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's hard because, like, in the moment, we're like, oh, I'm finna get him right in. No. Don't do it. Like, if, like, I'm even working on it. So, as I'm teaching you guys, I'm learning it too. You know what I'm saying? Elevate yourself above the plant field because it's psychological. It's deeper than that. You feel me? That could be just coming up you to test you. So you got to win that battle. Or sometimes you're going to lose the battle to win the war. They testing you. And if you pass the test, you're going to the next one. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, elevate yourself. Look, Create long-term goals. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody trick you. And if they do trick you, it's about your perception. Like, they be like, oh, you suck. Go hard. Go get in there and cook it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get in there and replan. Go back to the lab. You know what I'm saying? Go back to the drawing board. Replan. Restrategize. But think of long-term plans. Like, long-term beat the short-term all day, every day. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Because we become so comfortable with, like, in the heat of the battle, re reacting. Like, we just, oh, I got to do it. Because the mind, you got to control this by meditating. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother video, though. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be look beyond the battlefield. Everything is psychological. You know what I'm saying? So, once you master the art, uh, long term thinking, then you'll be good. But even though I'm saying long term thinking, do the habits that's gonna get you to the long term thing. You know what I'm saying? So practice this, that, and the third A, B, C. You know what I'm saying? Like, say you want to be a better reader. Well, your goal is not to become a better reader; it's to become a reader. So read five minutes a day, ten minutes a day. 30 minutes a day. Then get up to an hour. Just don't go to an hour. You know what I'm saying? Because say your goal is to read, uh, your goal is to read three books. Three books every month. Well, if you just start with an hour and you're not used to it, then like you ain't going to want to do it. But think about the long-term goal. Read 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. So on and so Or break it down. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how many chapters in the book. Divide it. You know what I'm saying? Break it down like that. Looking at the long-term goal, you'll get there. But and you this can be used in the social work, you know what I'm saying? With social wars, social battles, like at a workplace and things of that nature. But number five is elevate yourself above the battlefield. My bad, that was long, I had to paraphrase. But number six is the one that I like. Spiritualize your work your um warfare. Spiritualize. You know what I'm saying? Because like bro, every day is a battle, whether you want to look at it like that or not. That's why you, you got to master your social skills. You know what I'm saying? Master the art of your mind. Master the art of war. Master the 48 laws of power. Master the laws of human nature. Master 50th law. Fear. You know what I'm saying? Every day is a battle whether people tell you or not. And the people that say, oh, it ain't about this, that, and that, they're lying. They tricking you. They playing on your mental. You got to not let them do that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so num number six is, is a very important one too. Along with number one. Number six is important because you got to spiritualize it. You got to go to battle on you. What is your weakness? What is you good at? You know what I'm saying? What is your strength? You know what I'm saying? So go to battle on yourself every day. And I'm going to give y'all a recap of these six laws. Number one is look at things as they are. Do not color them with your emotions. Number two is judge people by their actions, not by their words. Depend on your own arm. I mean, on your own mind. Number five is worship Athena's, not Aries. I mean, when it, be strategic first, then go to war. Number six, elevate yourself above the battlefield. Do that. Because when you elevate yourself above the battlefield, you're looking at the long-term goals, not just the little problem that you're having. And then number six, spiritualize your welfare. 
me and go to work on you. Battle you. You know what I'm saying? This your boy Ricky. This your boy Ricky the Savage. The gentleman and the spiritual teacher. Before we get out, smash that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know any more great topics that you want me to do. And this your boy Ricky and I'm out with another banging video.